Hello, hello, student for the second week. In the second week, we will start lesson one one, which is measuring segments and angles. So in this lesson, we will learn how are the properties of segment and angles are used to determine their measure. We have many vocabulary that we have to know and memorize, collinear points, line, plane, point, and postulate what is the meaning of each one of them. The objectives, what you will be able to do by the end of this lesson, is to use the properties of segments and angles to find their measure. And we have the lesson overview. The concepts, what is there? Example one, we have defined and undefined terms. What's the difference between each one of them? What's a point, what's a line, and what's a plane? Then we have explore and reason, we will be able to practice it together. And then we have undefined terms. Mm -hmm. And then define terms, what does it mean? And then we will practice. You know, math is a skill. The more you practice it, the more you get it. How to find the segment length. how to measure it using a ruler, and how to find the distance on a line. Many other examples. We have also another concept to be covered in this lesson, congruent segment and congruent angles. What is the meaning of the word congruent? Congruent means equal, but in geometry, we like to act fancy, so we say it's congruent here. And finally, we have the concept summary that summarizes most of our uh, concepts or objectives in this lesson. And then to check your understanding, we have different parts, questions you can answer. Do you know how? This is another questioning technique or activity. Here, we have many questions and problem solving to solve in our book. Many questions here we can go, will be assigned each one of them. And then by the end of the week, uh, on Tuesday, we will start lesson one three. And it's about what? Midpoint and distance to find the midpoint and distance of a segment. Uh, then on Wednesday, we will be having our pretest. On Thursday, we will continue midpoint and distance. Let's see how are the midpoint and length of the segment of coordinate plane determine the vocabulary here, midpoint. And what can you achieve by the end of the lesson? We have many other examples again. And this is the concept summary, the midpoint and distance on the plane, coordinate plane, how to calculate it. I hope you will understand everything. As I told you, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a good day for now.